Soda is constantly making front page news in the negative sense. It's enough to make anyone wonder what the heck is in this bubbly stuff. Nothing says Americana like soda pop. And maybe that's one of the reasons so many Americans struggle with obesity. Believe me, I get why soda is such an American staple. So we eat. Root beer floats at the local diner, cola at a barbecue on the 4th of July. Cola. Then at the same time, soda is constantly making front page news in the negative sense. It's enough to make anyone wonder, what the heck is in this bubbly stuff? First, a few fun, busy facts. The top five carbonated soft drinks are Coke, Diet Coke, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and Dr. Pepper. Coke was introduced in 1886 and celebrated its 125th birthday in 2011. Today, it sells more than 1.7 billion drinks per day. The good news is that soda sales have been on the decline since 2005, but my biggest problem with soda, by far, is the sugar. And just to give you a visual, Americans, on average, drink nearly 6,000 ounces of soda a year. If we're talking about regular soft drinks, that works out to 12 teaspoons every single day. This is what you're putting in your system. Studies have linked higher intake of sugary drinks like soda to greater risk for weight gain. Heart disease, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, gout, and the list goes on. Some studies have found that switching to diet can help you shed pounds, but others have found that people who drink more diet drinks are more likely to gain weight over time. Counterintuitive, right? But there's evidence from animal studies that suggests artificial sweeteners yum, 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 yum. can increase calorie intake and interfere with normal metabolic responses, like blood sugar control. These results haven't been replicated in humans, but whether or not something physiological is going on, I think there's good reason to cut back on the diet stuff too. So about that soda, is it kitchen worthy? Heck no. Regular soft drinks are the number one source of added sugar in the United States, and they have zero Zippo nutritional value. A better alternative is to put a splash of 100% fruit juice into water or bubbly seltzer, or try naturally fruit-flavored sparkling waters. Now that you know what the heck is in soda, proceed with extreme caution. Want to see more what the heck are you eating next week subscribe now and don't forget to watch fitness guinea pig where we test today's hottest workout and diet trends